Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. As you guys know, Sophie and I just got back from our two week European road trip across France, Spain, and Portugal. This was my first time ever traveling with a dog and I have some interesting tips to share with you guys. We visited a lot of amazing cities and a lot of them were really pet friendly, but there were of course some exceptions and I'm not talking about the multiple times we got kicked off of different beaches because we had Sophie with us. I'm talking about certain places that you know are not usually accepting of dogs, like restaurants, hotel breakfast, Office areas, tourist destinations, stores, and many other places. I know a lot of you guys are interested in traveling with your dog in the future, and maybe you're like me and you never want to leave your dog behind. I want to show you what I use to make sure that Sophie gets to go with me no matter where I go. I use this tool all the time, not just when I'm traveling. It's the easiest way to guarantee that Sophie gets to go where I go and I never leave her behind. So we're both happy. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. For those of you that may not know, this is Sophie and she is a miniature Cavapoo. She is 14 pounds, fully grown, and she is a small dog. This is definitely gonna work for all those small dog owners out there. And here is Sophie's backpack. This is honestly one of the best things I have ever purchased for her. And I'm gonna show you why it's so important and why I never leave the house without it. There are many different types of dog and pet backpacks available on Amazon and at your pet store. This is the one we use. I'll include the link for it down below in the description box, but what it has, it's got two different, Sophie's already trying to go in. This is how well trained she is with going in. She loves it. So it's got two doors, one on this side that closes completely. And let me show you the other side. Sophie's gonna stay in. And then there's another door on this side as well that opens up completely. There's Sophie on that side. Now what's also really awesome too about this backpack is that it has a safety feature inside. Anytime Sophie goes in her backpack, I always use a harness that has a clip for her back. And I'm gonna show you guys why, because it ties in with the safety cord this cord that is extendable. I find it's just a little too short for Sophie, so I've added on a carabiner clip to make it a little longer. And now I'm gonna show you guys why I use this harness for Sophie in her backpack, because this clip is going to attach here on the back of her harness, like so. And like that, she is securely in this backpack. So that means I can now close this door and we can leave this top flap open so she's not fully closed in the backpack. Let me show you guys what that looks like. The important thing of Sophie having this harness with the back clip is that I know it is securely attached to the backpack by that extra cord that is provided. I know she's not going to jump out because we've spent so long training and making sure that she is safe in here, but it's also nice to know that we have that extra security measure by having this harness on and she's super safe back there. Look at that, she's already lying down. Now I'm not 100% guaranteeing you that you'll be able to bring your dog everywhere with you if they're in a backpack. I can only share my experience and I have been able to take Sophie into grocery stores, shopping malls, and different tourist destinations without anybody really noticing or saying anything unless she happens to bark, which she did do at a restaurant one time, but nobody really made a big deal out of it because she was in the bag. If you're ever unsure of where you're going and you're worried that if they do happen to see your dog in a backpack or carrier like this, always ask before entering because that'll definitely save you any headache from entering into an establishment where you may get in trouble for having a dog with you. So of course, you do need to use some common sense as well when going into places with your dog in a backpack. I really do hope this helps anybody that is either looking at traveling with their dog, that you're looking at bringing your dog everywhere you go with you. Maybe your dog has separation anxiety and you don't wanna leave him home alone for long periods of time, or maybe you're like me and you have some separation anxiety with your dog and you don't want to be away from your dog from long periods of time. I hope this helps you in being able to travel more and be with your dog more. Let me know if you have any questions about our travels and where we went or what it's like traveling with a dog as a first time dog owner. I'd love to do more videos for you guys and answer any questions you may have. And if you guys would like a follow up video showing you just how quickly I got Sophie used to her backpack and I can share some tips on what I did to make sure that she loves being in her backpack and she's always ready to go whenever I bring it out, let me know down below in the comment section and I can do a follow-up video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye guys.